makers on Capitol Hill look to cut spending. They can start with making sure Americans in the future are not stuck paying for someone else's bills like we're seeing with thousands of earmarks in the $1.7 trillion omnibus spending bill. In fact, it's loaded with billions of funding for pet projects directed by members of Congress. One example is for a hiking trail in Georgia that you are paying for. Joining us this morning with the details is founder of OpenTheBooks.com, Adam Angievsky. Adam, good morning to you. Welcome back to the National Desk. Good morning, Jan. So Georgia Democratic Congressman Hank Johnson used the omnibus spending bill to get $3.6 million to extend the Michelle Obama trail outside of Atlanta. Now, this will be the second expansion since its construction began back in 2018. So tell us more about the project. What resources uh, has it required? Who benefits? And, and when's this going to be done? So, Jan, this trail was started back in 2018. It's now six miles long. With the expansion, they'll add another 4.5 miles of trail. Eventually, it'll be 22 miles, and it's going to go from Georgia State to a new proposed park, a Michelle Obama named park, 22 miles away. Here's the deal. The first six miles cost local taxpayers about $4 million. Now, with the addition of 4.5 miles, this is going to cost you and I federal taxpayers 3.6 million dollars now look i'm a marathon runner i love these trails but i don't want to you know what i don't love is paying for the trail down in georgia well so prior funding for that project came from local sources like the dekalb county government where it's located so why are the american people being forced to pay for this why isn't dekalb county paying for it well exactly and they used to pay for it but now with the spigot opened up at the federal level with these federal earmark projects these member pet projects where they can bring federal dollars locally we've got a situation where all of us are paying for these things look uh if this project has merit it should be funded locally now we took a look at the earmarks uh in georgia the georgia congressional caucus and they actually put in this omnibus spending bill, the Democratic caucus in Georgia, $285 million worth of earmarks. The Republicans uh, in Georgia only put in $15 million worth of these earmarks. So where's this federal funding going for that district? So uh, this, this project uh, funded off the federal level uh, into this Michelle Obama trail will put uh, $3.6 million to expand that trail to the tune of $4.5 five miles so you're going to get 10 miles down the road look uh that new michelle obama park you know hank johnson you know he's got 15 million dollars worth of earmarks in this omnibus spending bill i could see him earmarking the dollars for the future park right down the line well and you just said it initially dekalb county had paid for this because it was local and typically that's what's happening local Principality, they, they pay for whatever's in their district. So why are earmarks being allowed back into these federal spending bills? Because Republicans and Democrats in Congress, they're addicted to spending your tax dollars. Like in the city of Chicago, you got the Field Museum. They've got $3.5 million worth of earmarks, and their CEO last year made $1.1 million, and they don't need federal help. You've got seven out of the top 10 earmarkers on the omnibus spending bill. They're Republicans. You got the Congressional Republican Caucus in Texas out earmarking their Democratic colleagues. So, Jan, this spending addiction, it's bipartisan. It's Democrats in Georgia and it's Texas Republicans yeah. as well. All right. Founder of OpenTheBooks.com and CEO Adam Angievsky, always great talking to you. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend.